From Gravewalker to Hanged Man, Colossus Fight Guide. Gravewalker. Prepare either chill or toxic damage while avoiding fire or electric damage. Also, if available, grab around 150 fire resistance. At combat start, try to position yourself at the top of pillars and shoot the shoulder plates until they glow orange. Once they do, zipline onto them and punch them off. Once the shoulder plates are off, focus the third weak point at the middle of its quote-unquote face. Once he become immune, shoot off all glowing weak spots at his leg joints. Continue to damage him until he goes down. If at any point you are focused, calmly sidestep all his projectiles and if you see him charge the attack, time the moment when he releases it and roll to the side. Stunning Beauty Prepare either toxic or chill damage and avoid electric or fire damage. Also, if available, grab around 350 electric resistance. As previously, at start hop on the pillars and shoot off shoulder plates until you can punch them off. Once the shoulder plates are off, focus on the weak spot located on its knees. When she releases the orb barrage, if you are close to her, run up to her, or if you are further away, take a few steps back. If she focuses you with gunfire, disengage and keep dodging to the sides while shooting her. Be ready to run away if she teleports on top of you. Avoid electric pylons that she leaves on the ground. Once she becomes immune, a massive eye will appear above her. All party members should split and hide behind the pylons. Now peek and shoot the eye. When you peek, you'll receive a blue eye icon above your character. Once it turns yellow, hide behind the pylon to drop it off. Also, keep an eye on the eye, pun intended, to when it shuts, as you can then shoot it safely. Once the eye is down, repeat the first phase until the boss is down. Executioner Prepare either toxic or chill damage and avoid electric or fire damage. Also, if available, grab around 900 electric resistance. As always, start at the high ground, shoot off and punch off his shoulders and then focus on his core located at the middle of his chest. Then focus fire at the base of his horn on the head or side of his knees. Once all the parts are off, just shoot him in the chest where the core was. Once you see the drones hovering over him, shoot them down as quickly as possible as they will charge his immune face. When your screen goes white and he teleports you to the middle, make sure to zipline away as quickly as you can. If you can't latch your zipline, double jump before hitting the ground to avoid stagger and sprint away. Once he turns immune, shoot a pillar weak spot that will erect on his back. Once blown off, repeat the phase 1 until he's down. He also shoots out two types of laser. If you see him charge the laser weapon, keep running to the side. One laser will keep shooting one spot and once you notice it's not moving, stop and return fire. Second type will chase you. If you notice laser moving, keep on running until it finishes. Dead Bride Prepare either fire or electric damage and avoid chill or toxic damage. Also if available, grab around 1600 chill resistance. Again, ideally high ground start, shoot off and punch off shoulder plates, then focus core on the middle of a chest, then balances on the side of its knees and senses on the side of its head. When she stops and white shards appear around her, whoever she's focusing needs to disengage from her and keep dodging to the side for entirety of the barrage. The rest of the party also needs to disengage a bit as at the end of the cast she will drop large ice chunks in a circle around her. Once she's immune, focus on two weak spots that will erect from her weapon until she returns to regular phase. Avoid frost pylons that she leaves on the ground. During the immune phase, she will also teleport on a random player and cast area of frost that will continuously take massive chunks of health from all players within it. As soon as she teleports, be ready to use all mobility cooldowns, sprint and zipline to get away from her as quickly as possible as she will take you down within seconds. Ideally when she's in that phase, take the high ground on the pillar or make sure there's a pillar roughly within the maximum zipline range so you can use it to disengage quickly. Once she's out of immune phase, repeat the phase 1 until she's down. If she focuses you at any point with projectiles, keep your distance and avoid them by sidestepping while returning fire. Devourer Prepare either electric or fire damage and avoid toxic or chill damage. Also, if available, grab around 1800 toxic resistance. 
As always, try to start on the high ground, shoot off and punch off the shoulder plates, then focus fire on the core cover on the middle of its chest, balances on the knees and sensor on the side of its head, then continue fire on the core at the chest. Try to constantly keep medium range and shoot the boss. If he targets you with projectiles, sidestep while returning fire. If you get into close range, he will slam his weapon against you. If you see him winding up his arm, if you are quite far away, run away. If you are very close, roll to the side, then run away. Once he becomes immune, he will spawn floating pylons covered by bubble shield. Run into the bubble and nuke the pylons as quickly as possible. As long as the pylons are up, they'll keep healing him and it's easily possible that he'll top his life and restart the fight if you are not quick enough. While the pylons are up, there will also be a barrage of projectiles falling from the sky. There will be a circular indicator on the ground. If you see one, just step out and keep shooting at the pillar. Once pillars are down, repeat the phase one until boss is down. From time to time, he'll drop chunks of green rocks on the ground. They'll explode after a brief moment, throwing projectiles that you have to dodge and then leaving the green puddle on the ground that you should avoid for its duration. Pyromaniac Prepare either chill or toxic damage and avoid fire or electric damage. Also, if available, grab around 1200 fire resistance. Start on the high ground, shoot and punch off the shoulder plates, then focus call on its get into close range, it will start splitting into homing projectiles. When it flies towards you, shoot it down while pulling backwards. If you can't take it down, disengage using zipline and sprint away until orb disappear. Also, if you see orb closing on someone close to you, disengage as it will split projectiles at you and help them shoot it down. When you see him winding up his sword, roll to the side if you are facing him as he'll launch ground-based forward-facing fire attack dealing massive damage. If he focuses you with flamethrower, keep dodging to the side or hide behind indestructible object like edge of the platform. Once your screen goes blank and you get teleported, use zipline to disengage as quickly as possible. If you can't latch a zipline, double jump before you hit the ground to avoid stagger and sprint away. During his immune phase, weak point will erect on his back, shoot it down to disable the immunity. He will also spawn expanding circles of chains. Once they are close to you, simply jump over them. Keep in mind that he might spawn several of them, so look around in case if you need to make few jumps. Getting on a high ground will allow you to completely ignore chains mechanic. Once immunity is gone, repeat the phase one until boss goes down. Swamp Walker Prepare either electric or fire damage and avoid chill or toxic damage. Also, if available, grab around 2600 of toxic resistance. Start at the high ground, shoot and punch off his shoulder guard, then focus weak points at the core cover in the middle of his face, then helmet at the top of his head and then sensors at the side of his face. Once all the weak points are down, you are safe to focus joints for easy to hit target. This fight is slightly updated version of Grave Walker. If at any point you are focused, calmly sidestep all his projectiles and if you see him charge the attack, time the moment when he releases it and roll to the side. His rocket barrage will leave toxic puddles on the ground that you should avoid. Also avoid getting into very close range or under him as he will initiate stomp attack using all his legs rapidly that deals heavy damage. In the immunity phase, shoot down the weak spots that will erect on his knee joints and then repeat the phase one until he's down. Hanged man. Prepare either toxic or chill damage and avoid electric or fire damage. Also, if available, grab around 3100 electric resistance. At the beginning, position yourself close to pillar or if you or your teammate have shield ability, use that to take as a cover. Focus weak spots on the back of the boss through the fight until rage phase. If you are focused in the open with the projectile attacks, simply sidestep them. When he releases an electric orb attack, run backward until they disappear. Keep an eye on the altar under the boss. Four tubes will fill with the red liquid. Once it's full, boss will enter rage phase that will wipe your run. As the tubes are nearly full, descendant with either high defense or high mobility need to grab orb located in the front of the altar. 
this will in turn trigger a lesser rage phase. The person with the orb will be targeted by the boss and needs to continuously run around the arena while the boss attacks with abilities that can one shot most of the characters. The rest of the party needs to shoot glowing weak spot at the mouth of the boss. As the weak spots get destroyed, the altar tube's charge level will lower. When it drops to around 80%, runner can place the orb back at the altar to return boss to its regular phase and party can re-engage in phase 1. If during the lesser rage phase boss is facing you, start running to the sides as he will trigger large AoE laser attack that will destroy all the objects and one-shot most of the characters. Keep an eye on the tubes and repeat the lesser rage phase if required until boss is down. If you need some useful tips and tricks, or maybe need the help with full bunny questline, you can find more guides in the video description, and I'll see you in Albion.